Hey everybody, it's Ben from UMPC Portal, and I know it's been a while, but I've got another touchscreen friendly game to show you. So today we're going to look at a game called Cran Physics. And this game, I don't believe, was actually designed to be a touchscreen game. Um, it just kind of happens so that it works perfectly with uh, a tablet computer or other touchscreen device. So here we'll launch the game, and this is called Cran Physics Deluxe, available for $20. This is just a demo, actually. Um, but concepts still apply. So here is our map, which I've already drawn quite a bit on, but um, you can draw anywhere on the map with your crayon. Exciting. Um, so here we have a little red ball, which is farther than I want it to be right now. I need it to come back to this level. Come on, ball. Alright, it's going to run back along our track of levels that I've already completed, but I want to show you the first level. And once it's back here, we can start. Alright, thanks, ball. So anyway, here's Crown Physics Deluxe, and the game's presented really well, actually. I mean, it's just super simple to play, it's got a cool, simple art style, and it's just not, it's not a very stressful game, it's very simple to play, there's not a lot of real high-intensity stuff happening, so it's, it's kind of hard to be mad while you're playing this game, let's just say that. Even the music, I think, reflects that, it's just simple and, I don't know, happy? Let's go with happy. Alright, anyway, so the idea of this game is that we want to get our little red ball to touch the star, and that completes the level. Simple enough for now. Let's draw a box, as instructed on the first level, and that's going to give our ball a little push over the star. And once we get that star, the level's done and we can move on. Obviously, things are going to get a little bit more complicated. So as we move on to the second level, um, you can actually give your ball a little nudge, which is useful. It's not very hard push, but so you just tap on it, you give it a nudge, and you have a cooldown bar up here, so you can't just keep pushing it. Um, so it's, it adds that uh, usefulness when you need it, but it's not like you can use that to just complete the level every time. Anyway, we get a little bit more complex here. Let's see. One doesn't look too hard. I'm actually going to do this level again so I can show you one of the cool mechanics of this game that you get to use yourself, um, which are hinges. So if I were so inclined, I could just draw a circle, and that becomes a hinge, and then I can draw an object within, or that goes around that circle, and it's going to rotate around that point, which is pretty cool. It's really intuitive, simple to do. Um, and another cool thing is I can actually draw another hinge on there, and attach another object, and that will swing independently. And it's all pretty convincing physics. Anyway, let's finish this level up and show you a little bit more. But that does become useful later in the game. So, basically I'm on an island here with all these different levels, and after I complete um, the course to the ship, I can take my ship to new islands with new levels. So here's an example of a level that already uses a hinge built in. Um, it's holding this bridge up. And if I just put a wedge in here, I can knock that bridge down and give my ball a path across. And then just delete with the right click, give my ball a little nudge, and the level's done. So one more level and then we'll be able to go to the next island. Here's another hinge puzzle. So here I have this catapult-like device, and if I just drop an object in there, it's going to flip my ball over, but it's going to fall down, so I need to fix that. And if the ball falls down, it just resets here. Um, so what I can do is just draw a little bucket-like device here to catch my ball, and then I'll be able to delete that, hopefully, and drop uh, my ball down to the star. Uh, no. Need to reshape it. So 
See if that does it. <laughs> Not quite. Now we can take the boat out to some other island. And as you can see, these islands are labeled with stars. Um, and every time I beat a level, I get a star. So as you beat levels, you unlock more islands. So I'm only up to island two so far. And I think some of the levels on this island are going to show us some cool new things. Yep, here's a level with where hinders are actually useful. So. They've already got a hinge here for me, and I'm just going to draw the shape of a little golf club. And that's going to roll on its own, hit the ball right to the star, like a golf club. Again, they've got a cloud up here, which a hinge has already been attached to. And I can use the club again. No, it's falling the wrong way. Uh-oh. But anyway, um, game mechanics get a little more complex as you go along. The game is super simple. Can be bought for 20 bucks from crayonphysics.com. And go give yourself a try on the demo using a tablet computer, or you can even play this one with a mouse. So, enjoy.